Sixers win it! Wow! Oh man, if B gets posterized, Russell Westbrook! You love the Philadelphia Eagles! Let me get a hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, so I am on the clock here, guys. I've got the New York Giants. Uh, I mean, I, sorry, guys. I, mean, I know we're oh. a Philly based podcast here. I don't know who has the Eagles pick here, but the fact that Jalen Waddle is still on the board for the New York Giants is absolutely crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Um, I don't know how uh, the Giants do not take Waddle in this scenario. Um, actually, I was looking at Rashawn Slater. That was my guy. Uh, for the New York Giants. I, I, I like Rashawn Slater's ceiling as a left tackle. Um, like clearly offensive line is the biggest liability for the New York Giants at this time. Um, they, they selected Andrew Thomas with the number four overall pick in the draft last year. He's a little bit underwhelming, had a block rate of 5.8%. Um, um, uh, he had a blown block rate of 5.8%, which was the highest among tackles with 300 more snaps. So clearly, I love Rashawn Slater. I love his ceiling. I love his potential. Um, that was going to be my guy, to be honest. And, but you look at another target, like Elijah Vera Tucker, who I'm a big fan of. At this selection, though, at number 11, you can't pass on a, a, a true number one wide receiver. I'm going to give Daniel Jones the playmaker he needs, a number one wide receiver, uh, a guy that can play outside and stretch the field so fast, so fast. Jalen Waddle is the pick here for the New York Giants. And I know like all my Eagles friends are, are just about to like, just storm, uh, knock down my door here and kill me because that is a selection for the New York Giants. Jalen Waddle to the New York Giants. I just, wanna, I just wanna say, if the Miami Dolphins select Devonta Smith with the pick we gave them, the Cowboys then select Sertain, and then the Giants select Waddle <laughs> directly before we pick, I might have an aneurysm. Like, <laughs> uh, oh my God. I, wanna, you know, I, I kind of been curious about this because a lot of people are saying that a need for the Giants is the wide receiver position. What does that say when they just gave Kenny Galladay all that money to come in? They have a couple young guys in the fold you know, does any of that matter if they can't protect Daniel Jones? And, and, and you know, like, that's why I, I got to think, you know, a guy that comes from the Patriots, right, in, in Joe Judge, knows that the game is in between the trenches and that it doesn't matter what you have on the outside if your trenches suck. You know, that's why I think at the end of the day, are we all mocking the Giants to pick a receiver because, well, you know, it's Jalen Waddle. I I would not be surprised, and I would be thrilled, if, if the Giants went. I don't know if they go, you know, Vera Tucker. Um, if they if they draft an offensive tackle, I, I guess Darisol from Virginia Tech is still out mm -hmm. there on the board. I know it's a little early for him, but um, you know, I I wonder. I really wonder about the Giants drafting a what if. Once again, are the Giants using their draft capital to the best of their ability by doing that? That's, yeah, that's the question that I ask. You look, I mean, they signed Kenny Galladay. Um, they, they have uh, Sterling Shepard. They have Darius Slayton. Now they add Jalen Waddle. And you look at the future of the Eagles cornerbacks, and they're like, you're moved, Philadelphia. You're up at number 12. 